bug fixes, and added features like a fine wine, Wasteland 3 just gets better with age to really savor the game's bouquet. We're talking with In Exile game director David Rogers. David, thank you for joining us. I'm super stoked to be here. Thanks. So in the trailer, we saw that the DLC is coming out on October 5th, mm -hmm. but we know, you know, In Exile Wasteland 3, you guys have been working on this for a very long time. So can you kind of talk about that journey? Yeah, our dev team has been working nonstop full tilt, trying to make Wasteland 3 the best version of itself it could be. Over the past year since it's released, we've added features, we've balanced, we've listened to the community, we've fixed bugs, added stability. And I really think that the version that we have now is the absolute best version of the game, and if you've never played it before, now's an awesome time to jump in. Well, congratulations on, on everything that you've been doing with Wasteland Thanks. 3. Now, this DLC is called The Cult of the Holy Detonation. Mm -hmm. Now, talk about that a little bit. Tell, tell me what's go gonna go into this DLC. Right. What, what should we be excited about? Right, so you've heard of uh, Cheyenne Mountain, right? Yes. For, for those who haven't, Cheyenne Mountain is this uh, top secret military complex buried deep in the heart of Cheyenne Mountain in the middle of Colorado. It's designed to outlast a nuclear winter. Yeah. And so when you hit level 16, a f old friend calls you and says, hey, I need your help securing this secret military base and all the secrets within. And as soon as you get there, you find two warring cults battling over supremacy, trying to take control of the holy detonation, which is this pre-war science experiment that they worship as a god. Yeah. And, uh, you know, these cultists are insane, they're mutated, they've gone totally mad, and uh, all they want to do is share the holy radiation with you and your entire ranger team. How generous! Yeah, that sounds a lot cooler than some of the cults I may have joined in the past, <laughs> but this is typical wasteland fashion. We're really going to be able to get in there and mix it up, right? Right, right. So you and your ranger team insert yourself right smack dab in the middle of their holy war, which, you know, what could go wrong? Yeah. And this is a wasteland game, so you decide everything. Choice and consequence is our bread and butter. And so you decide who lives, who dies, who gets screwed over, who takes charge. You're deciding the fate of the cults, the holy detonation, Cheyenne Mountain, and ultimately all of Colorado. This is really your game to craft and mold. That, that's awesome. So the last expansion was the Battle of Steel Town, right? Yeah. You had giant robots and things like that. So, you know, what, what are you gonna do, do to actually top something like that from the last expansion? Right, so we wanted like returning players to yeah. find something that they could never find in another version or like in previous versions of Wasteland yeah. 3. And so we built this as a Wasteland style dungeon crawl. And in there you find this awesome mix of mystery, exploration, yeah. you're meeting these crazy cultists who have been locked in this like pre-war time capsule and some of the raddest boss battles we have ever been able to build in a Wasteland game. That's awesome. I want to get back to, to the crazy cultists, but talk to me about these big boss battles. I want to hear more about that. Right. So we took the best parts of Wasteland Combat and we breathe, breathe new life into it with objective-based combat, which are basically super yeah. rad boss battles. You, It's no longer you're like huddling in a corner, throwing down turrets, just going on murderous rampages. It's not about killing, it's about getting the job done. And so now, combat doesn't end until the mission is over. We send you on proper combat yeah. missions. You're in there, breaking into prisons, rescuing POWs. You're disrupting these high-tech cultist rituals. You are splitting your fire team and coordinating like you never have had to before. Like everyone on your team has a job and I really think this is going to take old players who know their ranger team like the back of their hands yeah. and it's going to make them scratch their head and really have to rethink how they go about combat and making it new, exciting, and, and challenging in a, like mentally in a way we haven't been able to really do before with just straight up murder combat. Now, Wasteland has a reputation for getting a little silly. Right. What are some of the weird characters we can expect in some of the story encounters we will we'll see in, in the game? Yeah, with this, with Cult of the Holy Detonation, yeah. we really got to cut our devs loose and just let them be yeah. creative and fun and silly. Like, in Exiles, Modus Operandi is, if, some, if we're like brainstorming and something makes us laugh, we just put it in the game. That's just how we do yeah. it and we pick up the pieces afterwards. Because we want to make something that entertains us and then we know if we're having fun, our fans are going to have fun along with us. And so we got to explore like really letting you get deep into this like weird radiation cult and let you interact with them and talk with them um, and tell stories and like maybe even join them. Yeah. Um, and so like for instance, one of the characters you meet, one of the first cultists you meet is this slathering beast. He's got like claws and fangs and spikes. Likes yeah. jutting out and he's drooling, but he's like the nicest guy in Cheyenne Mountain. Like you meet him and he's like, hey guys, you should like come in here and like soak up some of these rads. It'll be great. Yeah. And he, he sherpas you in and lets you meet the whole cult. 
and like and another one of my favorites is the Proteus. He's what you get if uh, if you took like 20 cultists and you like melted them into a big pile, kind of like I would do this with like a magnifying glass. Yeah. I would like melt like army guys and like GI Joes into a big pile, and he's wet and sloppy and gross, and he's hard to understand, and he needs a translator supposedly. And but he's like your number one fan, and getting to build like this totally out there wild extreme character was a ton of fun to write for. It's a ton of fun to like explore like what makes this cult tick and he's an absolute blast. Hell, even some of the weapons that you find yeah. in Cheyenne Mountain, um, they, they're devolved cultists. Like there's one guy and he kind of devolved into this like vomiting bagpipe creature and he has this real like kill me vibe about yeah. him. Um, but it, we get to play with these fun body horror themes that let us jackknife between sort of like dark and serious and like goofy and funny, which is a line that Wasteland really loves to ride. Like, you know, a lot of really important stuff is at stake, but you know, it's the Wasteland's a pretty bizarre place. Oh, I can imagine. Now, we talked before, you've been working on Wasteland 3 for a while. There's, there's already expansions that are out there. But say I'm a new player, say I'm, I'm watching this right now and I'm mm -hmm. like, man, I want to get into Wasteland 3. What, what would you suggest for new players right. wanting to get into this? And like I said at the top, like Wasteland is like the best version of itself right now because of all the work we've put in over, into it over the past year. Um, and so you can get the whole thing with the Colorado collection. That's the base game yeah. plus uh, Cult of the Holy Detonation and Battle of Steel Town, all for a discount. Or if you have Game Pass, you already have Wasteland 3. Just download it and play it. And then you can get both expansions with the expansion pass. That is awesome. Now, to kind of recap this a little bit, we've talked about, mm -hmm. you know, spewing pus bags and these weird characters and the cults and the boss battles and all these really cool things that are going to be in Wasteland 3. But please remind everyone before we get out of here, when can you pick up this, this DLC? Right, this work of passion, it comes out on October 5th. We're really stoked. That is awesome. So this is the Cult of the Holy Detonation. The Dead Cult Na of the Holy Detonation. Coming October 5th. David, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Barish. Appreciate it. All right.